Guys, it's me, Mr. Adams. I'm out here after hours and I thought I'd show you a quick video on how we fasten the trusses here to our head or our main beam going across the back of the barn here. So we install what we refer to as scissors trusses, which are going to create this giant cathedral ceiling in here. All right, so this particular truss is referred to as a scissors truss. And I wanted to come over here and show you specifically how we have it anchored to our LVL in a bank barn. In a bank barn, our pole, or our post and beam barn here, um, or often sometimes referred to as a pole barn, this post is coming up through our LVL, all right, in this manner. Um, and in this case, we've actually notched the post to receive the truss with a Simpson strong tie connector we use. This is actually referred to often as a hurricane tie and we use specific nails in this to meet the code requirements for uplift, all right? So that this roof doesn't pull away from our header right here, all right? So again, this is an LVL and the post comes up through the LVL and our truss is fastened to the LVL with a hurricane tie in such a manner like this, all right? If you look over here, we didn't have to notch the post, but to additionally secure the post, we put a two by six down between our LVLs and, and again, installed a hurricane tie right here. So again, this is an LVL, a hurricane tie, and this whole big beam here comes out on a tractor trailer and gets delivered. And we set this with our petty bone. This is called a scissors truss. If you look on top of our scissors truss, again, we have another video where we discuss the purlins here um, coming up the roof. So again, LVL, our Simpson strong tie connector is referred to as a hurricane tie. And this is how we fasten our trusses to our beam. All right, um, thanks again. Have a great day.